Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from the county or the country in case you are out of the republic and for this particular video ladies and gentlemen let me know the specific county you are watching us from and anybody who is watching me from canada please side chat me on uh, the whatsapp number you are seeing that there's something i really want to ask you ladies and gentlemen if there's one man who's been pushed into a very tight corner politically speaking then that man is none other than the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa. But Rigadi Gashagwa is a truthful man. And because Rigadi Gashagwa is a truthful man, he's actually able to confront those challenges head on. Tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya ni moja na tutaungana sisi wote kama viongozi ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele. It is primitive and backwards for anybody to imagine that any region of Kenya cannot get development on account of how they voted. That is not right, that is not correct, and I want to assure the people of Kenya that we are going to move together as one nation. I am unapologetic to demand and to insist that those who believed in William Ruto and supported him to a man have every right to benefit immensely from his government. I have no apology at all and if that can bring a problem so be it of late for those who've been following this channel and of course the politics of the, the republic in general there's been this talk of a possibility of raila ruto handshake and also there's the possibility of the bipartisan talks succeeding and there's also the talks of uh, mudavadi replacing Rigadi Gashagwa. So which means Rigadi Gashagwa is facing several political challenges. But what is his game plan? What is his strategy to thwart all those moves by clearly William Ruto? And of course, Rigadi Gashagwa is an enemy of many people. Let me just give you some of the challenges Rigadi Gashagwa is facing before we get into Rigadi Gashagwa's strategy for 2027. The first challenge which Rigadi Gashagwa is facing is that he's been checkmated by several individuals in the mountain. Lidi Nyoro is a potential running mate, can make a running mate for William Ruto. Moses Kura can make a running mate. Kimani Shugo can make a running mate. And these guys are actually checkmating Rigadi Gashagwa down there. That's why they've been opposing whatever Rigadi Gashagwa is trying to do. You'll never see most of these guys joining Rigadi Gashagwa in any of his events. So that's the first challenge he's facing. Because some of these guys are very close to the president. Number two, there is also the Muslim Devery factor in Kenya Kwanza. You see, Rigadi Gashagwa was nominated as the running mate for William Ruto because William Ruto did not have any choice. Then William Ruto decided to bring on board Muslim Devery and he appointed Muslim Devery as the prime cabinet secretary. As we speak, Muslim Davadi is actually more powerful than the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa. We've seen Muslim Davadi moving around the globe, meeting even heads of state, while Rigadi Gashagwa is being assigned to deal with the issue of Kofi and Changa in uh, Mount Kenya. So Muslim Davadi as a factor is also something that is really giving uh, Rigadi Gashagwa serious political headache. Of course, number three, there's also this talk that Rigadi Gashagwa might not be the running mate, that Ruto might drop Rigadi Gashagwa as the running mate in 2027. And that's actually why I'm doing this video, because Rigadi Gashagwa understands all those. He's, he, he's aware that Ruto is planning all those, but he's coming up with a clear strategy on how to deal with it. Of course, also number four, there is also the failure by Rigadi Gashagwa himself to create a national image. I don't know whether it's by design or it's Ruto who has cleverly made him do that. But the truth is, Rigadi Gashagwa is not commanding any serious national image. Rigadi Gashagwa is viewed by Kenyans as someone who is out to represent the interest of Mount Kenya. When he speaks, you get 
like if you were to have chiefs regional chiefs regarding a would actually qualify as a Mount Kenya regional chief not as a face of Kenya you see like William Ruto when he was the deputy president he was like kind of a national leader and that's something people like Didi Nyoro are nowadays trying to do trying to create that national image by going beyond Mount Kenya talking as national leaders Rigadi Gashagwa is still confined as a Mount Kenya leader and of course we also know that Rigadi Gashagwa is also being sidelined by key Mount Kenya leaders that's a fact but importantly Rigadi Gashagwa is also dealing with a growing rebellion against Kenya Kwanza government especially in Mount Kenya the mountain is restive the other day you saw that gentleman pleading with Raila Odinga to actually speak on their behalf. Today I've, I just watched some video of um, traders from the mountain who are being kicked out of the streets of Nairobi while trying to hook eggs. You know, so Rigeti Gashagwa is dealing with all those and he understands that politics is also a very dirty game. But the biggest question is what is his strategy? In this video, I want to reveal to you guys the strategy that Rigadi Gashagwa is actually laying and it's elaborate of dealing with William Samoy Araproto and his schemes. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is without any further ado ladies and gentlemen allow me to dive in but before we, uh, we dive in please allow me to thank the following people you are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which i received earlier today I, I want to say thank you so much because it goes a long way in supporting this channel ladies and gentlemen what do you think Rigadi Gashagwa is doing to thwart any attempt to frustrate him number one if you ask me Rigidi Gashagwa is currently rallying Mount Kenya leaders to his side. And that is something that is worrying Ruto. I'm saying this because Ruto's politics has always been that is the one who controls. He wants to take control of leaders. Like for example, if Rigidi Gashagwa knew what was in the mind of William Ruto, he would really not even attempt to rally Mount Kenya leaders to his side. Because William Ruto wants to deal with those leaders personally. And I'm sure the governor for Nyeri is one guy who is uh, really annoying William Ruto. Just listen him to listen into the governor for Nyeri swearing his allegiance and asking the residents of Mount Kenya to rally bas behind Rigadi Gashagwa. Remember, William Ruto ventured into Mount Kenya without even seeking the permission from Rigadi Gashagwa. But as a people, since you water to Konyuma Yarigade Gachagua, and there are no two ways about that. Nakama community, because I believe I'm an elder in this community. Nikiwa chairman wa magava na water kumi wa mulima. Kwanzia meru, kwenda nakuru, kwenda embu, kuteremuka laikipia, kuja nyeri, moranga, kiambu, na kirenyaga iko hapa. We want to say in a very specific way, that we are solidly behind President Dr. William Samoy Ruto, wakiwa na Dr. Ame, wakiwa na Mweshmiwa Regathe Gachagua. We can see a joint ticket na tuko pale. Na tutaki tuambiwe vitu vingine. You can say this, you can say that, you can say whatever you say, but the point remains. Kama sisi, kama taifa, tungetaka kuendelea. It is important that we work together, tuwe na amani, tuendele, na tuwakikishe. Pengine mnaweza fikiria, wale wanafikiria, pe, eh, regathe kachagwa haku tosha kuenda kuwa deputy president. Sijui mungu mnaangalia nini ni urefu, ni weusi, ni yellow, ama ni nini. But the fact remains, we must support our deputy president in every way. Number two, I also tend to think, that Rigadi Gashagwa, being a literature student, is also confronting William Ruto directly. He's actually trying to follow what William Ruto did to Uhuru Mwe Kenyatta. I've been trying, I've been trying to, to follow what Rigadi Gashagwa is trying to say, but I'm seeing a man who is actually confronting Ruto. The other day when they were at Sagana, 
if you listened to Rigeti Gashagwa, he was directly confronting Ruto. Then there was this rally where they were addressing people. You know, Rigeti Gashagwa has the advantage of being the one handing over the mic to Ruto. He's, ideally, he's not supposed to speak a lot of things. But we've seen Rigeti Gashagwa before handing over the microphone to Ruto, talking about the handshake and how and why that handshake should never happen. We've seen that several. So which means, if you ask me, he's directly confronting the president. William Ruto ako na jukumu la kikatiba la kulida maisha na mari ya wa Kenya na hilo jukumu la rais atatekeleza na rais hawezi uziwa uoga munataka uziwa uoga njini munaeza kubari mambo ya hardship sisi tumewambia hawa kuna hardship weo kama munataka kusalimia mutu salimia bibi yako si ukusalimia bibi yako ni sawa number three Rigati Gashagwa is also consolidating the mountain Rigeti Gashagwa wants to be Mount Kenya kingpin. William Ruto believes that is the kingpin of the mountain. He's the one who should determine A, should determine B, should determine C. William Ruto believes that he kicked out Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta out of the mountain. And therefore, he's now the, 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 the kingpin. But Rigeti Gashagwa is claiming that seat. And that's why he was even calling for a meeting with Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta because he wants to be now the kingpin. The advantage of that, if he will be declared the kingpin, that is that he will have authority. But the disadvantage is that William Ruto is not going to allow him. If there's one thing William Ruto will not allow to happen in the mountain, is for another individual to emerge as a leader because that will complicate his equation. You see, like for example, Nyanza, they have Raila. So it means Ruto cannot just succeed in his schemes. He's, he succeeded in Mount Kenya, and therefore William Ruto would not want anything to do with another kingpin. But regarding Keshago being a truthful man, he understands all this. He's a former DEO. He understands what William Ruto is trying to do. So he's consolidating the mountain. The only disadvantage is that the mountain are also not very comfortable with Rigadi Gashagwa because William Ruto is actually calling them. I was reading some article that William Ruto actually is, is actually calling Mount Kenya leaders when they make mistakes politically. They are being asked, why did you do that? So most of them are living in fear. They can't even meet. They can't even join Rigadi Gashagwa. That's why when Rigadi Gashagwa was in Nandi the other day, as a strategy, the leaders from the mountain decided to join Ruto. Somewhere in Yanza. Number four, Ruto is also, I mean, Rigeti Gashagwa is also blame, blackmailing Ruto using the numbers. You know, William Ruto understands one thing, and I think you also understand that without Mount Kenya equation, there is nowhere William Ruto can go. So Rigeti Gashagwa is flashing these numbers on his face. Sisi kitu hatupendi ni usaliti. Ukitusaliti tutakuchukia. Na yule alisaliti William Ruto na haku wa mtoto wetu, lakini tukaona ni mbaya kwa sababu hatupendi usaliti. Tukasema huyu mumesaliti huyu. Huyu munaangaisha. Huyu munatharau. Huyu diyo tutainua, diyo tuoneshe nyinyi hatupendi usaliti. Na hiyo tukafanya. Na pale sisi tuko. Kwa President William Ruto, tunangoja siku. Hii nakoja. And that's why every time you'll hear Rikethi Gashagwa talking of shares. They talk about shares is literally a threat and a warning to Ruto. That if you joke, if you betray us, this is it. And lastly, I also tend to think that Rikethi is actually out to incite Mount Kenya. And that's why he is talking of betrayal. That Sisi, we supported you because Uhuru betrayed you. Sisi, tunapenda tuwe nye people who don't betray us. Atupende wasaliti. Direct incitement of the locals there. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.